Welcome to Techzilla Bytes, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Shannon Morse, and it's time to get productive. Did you know you can make Google Calendar do all of your work for you? Sure, you can import holidays throughout the year and birthdays from your contacts, but say you want to know the weather forecast for the week or what movies are releasing this weekend. Give Google Calendar the power with these scripts and settings. First off, easily add a weather forecast for your location by clicking Settings, choose your location, and choose Celsius or Fahrenheit. Once set, you'll see a little weather icon on each day. Second off, add your favorite sports team by clicking Browse Interesting Calendars under your Other Calendars tab. Choose Sports, and then look for your favorite team. Yay, sports ball! Now you'll get the times and locations of your team's games. This is super useful for somebody like me me, who has to drive by the stadium on my way home from work. Hello traffic, bye traffic, see ya. Now my third one, from this browsing interesting calendars tab, there's also an option to add your contacts, birthdays and events, holidays and star dates. Because what Trekkie doesn't want to keep their own captain's log, duh. Next, if you are a movie buff, you may want to try out If This Then That. There's a recipe for your calendar to show you when new movies are being released. Change the feed URL to 2014 and click Use Recipe. This recipe will now sync with your calendar anytime a new movie is added. Are you already a TripIt user? The travel site TripIt helps track your itineraries and is a go-to favorite for many experienced travelers. Not surprisingly, the site will also let you save your travel plans to your Google Calendar. To do so, go to TripIt and look for a link for your iCal feed. Copy the link and add it as a new calendar in GCal. Once uploaded, the TripIt itinerary feed will populate in your Google Calendar. Now head on over to Facebook and add my next favorite, Facebook Events. Click Settings, Export, and then right-click your calendar of choice. Add it under Other Calendars in Google Calendar, and do note that if you RSVP to a lot of events, this is totally going to swamp your calendar, so just tell all your friends you're not going to any of them. Now, last but not least, if you are like me and you have an epic ton of stuff to do, it might be helpful to actually put your task list on your calendar. So you can use Google Tasks for your list of things to do and then click the settings on a specific task to add a due date. This date will automatically be added to your calendar as a new event. You know what else is really cool? Lynda.com. You can try Lynda.com for free for excellent tutorials and programming. They offer thousands of video tutorials for everything from motion graphics to web design and even Java. For 25 bucks a month, you get unlimited access to video courses and you can start wherever you want at your own pace. So try Lynda.com free for seven days by visiting Lynda.com slash Techzilla and get the skills you need to get ahead. For more from Techzilla, hit up youtube.com slash techzilla or techzilla.com and share what you think below or tweet at Techzilla. I'm Shannon Morse. Thanks for watching.